Ciao a tutti, welcome back to my kitchen, where you can learn Italian regional recipes. Today I'm taking you to Lazio, the region of our beloved capital Roma. In this episode you will learn how to make the most controversial Italian recipe of all, carbonara. No cream, no onion, no parsley, only the original recipe with the traditional ingredients. Andiamo! The first step for this recipe is to introduce to the world this beautiful cured meat. Meat the guanciale. This is pork jowl that has been cured with a mix of pepper and salt for 3 weeks. Let's check out how it looks inside. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. You can clearly see the meat, which is nice and marbled, as well as the pearly white fat. I'll be using the rest of the guanciale for another recipe, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss it. Next, we're going to remove the skin and a little bit of fat. Also, we're going to remove the lower layer of pepper and spices for a milder flavor. All there's left to do is cut the meat as thin or as thick as you like. Always remember to taste your produce. Personally, I'm going to cut it into regular cubes. Now let's prepare the egg cream and to do so grab two eggs and separate the yolks from the whites. Remember to break the egg on an even surface to avoid breaking the yolk. The measurement is one yolk per person plus one egg. But now I'm gonna skip it because I ran out of eggs but the result will be great, trust me. For the egg cream I'm going to use Pecorino Romano the oldest Italian art cheese that was used by the legionnaires in ancient Rome. Let's add about 30 grams of cheese to the yolks and start mixing. Believe it or not, this dish was created by Italian cooks who saw American soldiers during World War II mixing their bacon and egg breakfast with local pasta. Don't forget to add a good amount of black pepper as the name of the pasta also refers to the carbonari, which were the lumberjacks that transformed wood into charcoal. Now that the mixture looks like this, we can go on the stove for the next part. Bring a large pot of water to boil and at the same time heat up the non-stick pan for the guanciale. As you saw earlier, this cured meat is full of fat, so I'm going to let it render and crisp up. While this is going, let's cook the pasta. I'm using rigatoni, which is, in my opinion are perfect since the sauce will stick better to the exterior and the guanciale can be found inside of it. Now that the guanciale is nice and crispy, let's set it aside on a paper towel for later. Don't throw away the grease, we are going to use it for the sauce. Put it in a bowl and leave some of it in the pan. The secret to pasteurizing the eggs without scrambling them is to add the pork fat to the egg mixture and emulsify it. This is the beginning of the creaminess that we are looking for. The pasta has been cooking for about 8 minutes now. Take the pasta out and put it in the pan with the residual grease and let's finish the cooking process directly in the pan by adding the pasta water gradually. Now add the guanciale and keep some for the garnish. Keep adding the pasta water every time the liquid is absorbed until the rigatoni are ready. About 4 minutes. Now let's take the pan off the heat for the final step. I'm gonna say this one more time. Off the heat, add the yolk, cream and start mixing everything together. Add a splash of pasta water if needed but not too much. Now we are ready to plate this beautiful pasta dish.
Don't forget the crispy guanciale we reserved earlier. A generous crunch of black pepper and of course some more pecorino cheese. And there you have it, pasta carbonara. Like always, I am so excited and happy to taste this. Oh yes, <laughs> mm, you can really taste all of the ingredients in the dish, it's incredible, it, and it only took 15 minutes. The original recipe beats every other copy out there for sure. Please, if you have any question, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Now I'm going to finish this and I leave you with this blooper, nobody is perfect. Thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more episodes to discover Italy through its regional recipes. Ciao e alla prossima ricetta!